going to have a lot of fun with your headboard. Stacy's joining us live now. Stacy, it's been forever. I know. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you too. So let's have some fun. You brought so many options uh, for what we can think about when it comes to headboards. Right. So you really want to think about what's happening in the room overall. The headboard is going to be the focal point. So you want it to tie in with everything else that's happening. Right. So I've brought in a, fruit, a few photos, and one of them is the shot that we just showed, where we have a patterned fabric upholstered headboard. And I love it because it adds drama to the space. The wall was a very dark color, mm -hmm. and so and the bedding is very neutral. So that fabric helped to create sort of an interesting focal point in the room so I really like interjecting that bit of hit of pattern right there is something nice though about even just having fabric there behind your head because a lot of us do resort to the regular wooden headboards absolutely but there's something a little bit more luxe about having a uh, fabric so this one that we have next is the traditional sort of wooden headboard. right so that's a more traditional wooden headboard and then we've paired it up with mirrored end tables so that's another thing maybe to break up the the amount of wood that you have in a room mirrored yeah. end tables are a really nice way to sort of add something interesting and and so it doesn't look too matchy matchy Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, and then you can do the tufted headboard, right. which I think is so beautiful. Now, what I love um, when you're, I love upholstered headboards. I think they're a great way to soften the look of a room. And here we've paired it with some wood end tables. Um, what I love about uh, a solid color is that you really have so much flexibility then with what you're pairing it with. So you could have a patterned area carpet or patterned bedding. So it gives you a lot of flexibility if you're yeah. changing up your bedding seasonally and that sort of thing. And then you can really embellish it with things like nail heads or tufting mm -hmm. and really make it a, a pretty focal point. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, so now you've also brought um, some things in live to show us, and these are so these are so gorgeous. I have. So these are from Wall Huggers. It's a Canadian company, and what I love about it is that she has a ton of standard sizes that you can choose from, but she can also customize. So you can really make it to whatever you want to do. So here I've taken some of her standard panels and just embellished them a little bit with some fun custom fabrics from Joanne Fabrics, okay. and also some interesting detailing. So on the solids, we've jazzed it up a little bit with some buttons and some nail heads, which I think is really kind of fun. And you can even mix and match these. So, you know, for example, a double size bed or a, or a queen size bed, you could pair two of these together. So yeah. it creates an interesting look. So, so you're basically kids just rooms. panels. Absolutely, just panels. They get mounted to the wall. Yeah. Uh, the standard sizes, I think, are 20 by 30 all the way up to 30 by 80. So a single panel mm. for a king size bed. Nice. Um, and it just gets mounted to the wall. Actually, I'll get you to grab that, sure. that panel right there. So this is another one that we've had done. And you can see we've done some really beautiful tufting with little crystal buttons, which oh, is so lovely. cute. Little jewels. And, that's gorgeous. And for on the bedroom. back, this is how you would mount them. So they just come already pre-drilled. Yeah. This is already installed, and then you drill the the other side of this onto your wall. So it's very easy to install, and she even sends a template with it. So it's super easy. So you do it yourself. Absolutely. Yep. Hang on to that for me. Yes. We actually have a picture of how that works because we want to see it actually uh, on a wall now. Perfect. This is an example of a wall hugger right there. So you've got two big panels. Yes. So this is a shot that she sent in, and these are different installations that she's done, which I think are fabulous. Oh, so you can really create drama by going, you know, very high. A yes. lot of people think too, in a smaller space, is it good to go high with the headboard or should you stay low? I think you can make it very dramatic, go high, even panel the whole back wall, right. and it will really give impact to the space. Um, I've also brought some other options for smaller bedrooms as well. Before we get there though, let's mm -hmm. talk a little bit about Wall Hugger more. If you like us on Facebook, you can have a chance to win a four hundred dollar gift card to spend on a headboard at upholstered wall huggers go for it. now let's talk about what you have here for a smaller space yeah, yeah i'll so, take that from you oh perfect thanks these are from ikea i love this headboard it's the mandel headboard and it actually is the complement headboard to the bed that sharon showed earlier that had the storage oh, below it nice right so what i like about this is that again for a smaller space if you want to go more modern the profile is very low so yeah very seamless and then it's got the little shelves that are adjustable on either end yeah so handy so great for smaller space yes and still have a little bit of storage at either side very nice it's nice to know that there are so many options out there and you can have some fun I like Absolutely. the width of this one yeah, as well it's nice so That's this really would nice. fit up to a 63 inch wide bed which would be a queen bed Nice. And the one behind you there, and that's actually my daughter's. Yeah, this is that really cute. Room. And what I love about this is that you get the storage in the yes. side. So again, if you're not, if you don't have a lot of space, great option for some storage. If you're a reader, you can easily grab a book at night. Yes. So, yeah. We actually have the pee pads in there and Shopkins. Oh, good. <laughs> that so works too. We're set. <laughs>